Once upon a time, actually not really that long ago, there was a boy who lived with his parents and sister Hi. in a great big house with five levels. Even though it was a big house, they didn't have a lot of money, so they only lived on the second floor. The first, third, fourth, and fifth floors were totally empty. Oh, except for the fourth floor, where the boy and his sister did their schoolwork in the It's for School room. That room had all their books, plus a desk, a computer, printer, and all the supplies needed for school. Well, maybe not all the supplies. Dad, the boy said. School is getting ready to start, and we need to go to the store to buy all our new school supplies. I'm surprised, said the dad. You don't normally like errands. Plus, don't we have enough school supplies already? No, the boy answered, looking at the letter. We need to get a few more things. The dad sighed. He really didn't want to spend a lot of money, but it's for school, he thought. Then he said, okay, let's go. They drove to Aaron Mart and walked in. The boy held the letter from the teacher in his hands. Okay, what do we need? The dad asked. We need an iPhone, the boy said. What? The dad said, surprised. That's expensive. We can't afford a new iPhone. But it's for school, the boy said. The dad slapped his head with his hand. I can't believe it. Why do they require each kid to have their own iPhone? They walked to the phone section and the dad talked to the salesman about getting a new phone. We don't have much money, so are there discounts available? The salesman said, You can get a student discount if it's for school. Yep, it's for school, said the dad. Also, you can get a senior discount if you're old. I'm kind of old, but not super old, said the dad. Then you can kind of get a discount but not a super discount. Anything else? The dad asked. We also have a discount if you're in the military, work as a secret agent, own a giraffe, or like comic books. I like comic books, the dad said. A lot or a little, the salesman said. Will that determine how big the discount is? Yes. I like them a lot, said the dad. Okay, you can get a total of 17% off the phone. Are you sure you don't own a giraffe? How much more discount would that be? Another 20%. The dad considered buying a giraffe in order to get the discount, but he eventually said, no, I'll just take the 17% discount. So they bought a new iPhone and started to walk back to the regular school supply section to get some pencils. Wait, I also need an Apple Watch, said the boy as he looked at the list again. What? exclaimed the dad. We don't have that much money. But it's for school, the boy cried. The dad thought about it. He called the mom, using the new iPhone, and talked to her about it. The boy heard him say, I know, I know. Yes, but it's for school. Maybe we need to get another job instead of sleeping at night, or maybe sell one of the cars. Okay, okay, see you soon, bye. So they bought an Apple Watch for school. Then they bought some paper and pencils, but had to get used ones to save money. Okay, one last thing, said the boy. We need to get a Nintendo Switch. What? the dad shouted. We can't afford that. And it's a game. Why are they making you buy this for school? The boy shrugged. Grrr, growled the dad. Dad, it's for school, the boy reminded him. So the dad began to think of how he could afford the money for a Nintendo Switch. Maybe stop buying groceries or stop buying clothes? Or maybe find someone to pay money to rent the house? But then they'd have to live in a tent and wouldn't have electricity to charge the iPhone or Apple Watch. And by the way, the boy added, the Switch needs to come with Super Mario Maker 2. Now the dad was really confused. Let me see that letter, he said. And no sooner did he say it than he snatched the paper out of the boy's hands. Looking over the list, 
he didn't see any of those things. This doesn't say you need an iPhone or Apple Watch or a Nintendo Switch. Yes, it does, said the boy who took the letter back. See, right here, it says we need a calculator, he explained. That's an app on the iPhone. He also said, We need the Apple Watch because right here it says, Make sure to arrive on time. Well, it certainly doesn't say you need a switch, the dad answered. Yes, it does, said the boy, and he pointed to the part of the letter that said, Make sure to bring some change each day for lunch. I need coins every day, he explained. We don't have much money, but I can get a lot of coins when I play Mario. So the dad shrugged, bought the Nintendo Switch, and stopped buying food and clothes for the rest of the year. But he had to do it because it's for school.